How's life everyone? I hope you're staying safe. This past weekend here by the bay was pretty amazing. It was bright, it was sunny, it was warm. So on Saturday I went out for a bit of a photo walk with the camera that built this channel, the Canon 90D. You'll get to see what I captured using only this 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. In the first part of the series, I headed up to Inna Coolbrith Park. And by up, I definitely mean up because I felt the burn in my legs climbing those famous San Francisco hills. The video and photo that you just saw that I took on the quarter of Broadway and Columbus on the way to the park is an example of how I'll demonstrate the capabilities of this camera and lens combination. Before we get into the vlog portion, I'm going to rattle off a long, boring list of settings I used. I kept everything as basic as possible. So on the camera itself, I set the dial to P mode. On the lens, I set the focus to AF, which is, of course stands for autofocus, and I set the stabilizer to on because I have shaky hands and I don't want the footage to look terrible because I'm shaking it too much. And for video settings, I did everything in 4K, 24 frames per second. Since it's set in P mode, everything is auto settings. That includes ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. For digital stabilization, I have that set to enabled. On all the audio that you hear straight from the camera, I did not attach any external microphone. So all the noise is natural and nothing is edited out, not even the wind, not even the uh, joggers having breathing in the background, which you, you'll hear in a couple, of the, uh, a couple of the scenes. But really those are the only negative sounds that you'll hear. Uh, the good thing is you'll get to hear natural city sounds, you even get to hear some birds chirping in the background. And I didn't add any music, of course, because I want you to hear what the audio sounds like coming straight out of the camera, which is actually pretty good, as you'll hear. And of course, for the photos, since I have the dial to P mode, those are also in auto settings. I color graded the photos using Adobe Lightroom. And in Adobe Lightroom, I mostly just brought up the shadows to bring up the detail in those shadows. And I slightly, bright, uh, I slightly brought down some highlights to bring out details in the sky on some of the images. And on some of them, I added up to 20% vibrance. And no more than that, because I feel like with a vibrant setting, you gotta be a little bit disciplined there. And lastly, anytime you see shots of the Canon 90D itself, I took those with my iPhone. After this vlog portion, I'll give you my concluding thoughts.
Man, no matter which way you're going, these hills are hard on the knees. Anyway, this is a vlogging test. This is the audio that comes straight out of the camera. Uh, I guess you could also say this is kind of a dynamic range test since I pretty much have the sun right above me, right in, right in my eyes, so uh, there's that. It's slightly breezy out here, so uh, if you get any extra noise, that's it's from the wind out here. Also, I have the digital uh, image stabilization set to uh, enabled, not enhanced, just enabled, so uh, you can kind of see how shaky the camera is as I'm holding it with no tripod. Okay, so I hope that experience wasn't too terrible. Overall, the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens is what it is. It's a good all-purpose starter lens. It's just barely wide enough to vlog, but also zooms in enough for you to get a variety of B-roll. At f4, this lens performs really well in daylight, but it's probably not the best light, uh, nighttime lens, as you'll see in part two, if I ever get around to editing it. I should add one last thing, since I'm leaning toward this channel not being about camera gear, or at least centered around camera gear, this series might be the last time I title these videos using camera terms in the title. Well, I mean, at least for a while. I mean, I'll still do these kinds of videos since I live in one of the most picturesque uh, cities in the world. I'll just title them something like Photo Walk in San Francisco or something. See you in part two.